Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Emmerdale's Craig Reed threatens the Dingles ahead of shock death story. Emmerdale's Craig Reed has threatened the Dingle family in tonight's October 26 episode ahead of the announced storyline, which will see him found dead and a hood on it begin. In the latest installment, the family continued to struggle to cope in the aftermath of Lydia's attack, each in their own way. While Sam tried to pretend everything was okay before storming out, Belle, Mandy and Vinny were incensed when they saw a social media post about Craig giving a talk about workplace family and felt like he was gloating by making a big show. Marlon told them to stay away from Craig but the trio came up with a plan to publicly confront him at the event. Belle went in first as Craig didn't know her, and when it came to questions and answers, she stood up and said, Is it true you were recently arrested for raping one of your workplace family? As Vinny and Mandy came in and stood by the door to stop people leaving, Craig accused Lydia of making the whole thing up and that he was acquitted but his assistant agreed with Belle when she said that it was still on police file and didn't go to trial before quitting. The trio were pleased that they had exposed Craig for what he'd done, although when they got to the Woolpack, the rest of the family were concerned that it wasn't the right thing to do. Then Craig turned up. I'm here to tell you I've consulted my legal team, and there was clear defamation. These two held me and my business associates hostage, he sneered. You say one bad word on social media. If you don't back off, my lawyers will come for you. Back at the house, Lydia was in tears as she ordered her family, Bar Sam, out. He came here, to our village, to our pub. I'm trying to find some sort of peace, and you've just made it worse, she said. Alone with Sam, she admitted that she felt like Craig had been emboldened by what happened, and that she felt like she's back at square one, and that her ordeal was never going to end.